Due to current political disputes, the Muslim and immigrant experience in Minnesota has suffered. The executive director of the Council on American Muslim Relations in Minnesota spoke to a packed audience about the group's efforts to ease the surge of Islamophobia. Our Logan Gay has the story. The phenomenon surrounding Islamophobia has been around for years. However, recent turns in political events have magnified the issue. Somali American civil rights leader Jelani Hussein gave some insight on how it's affecting the Muslim community. Uh, creating this fear on both sides, on the Muslims' fear and then those who are of other faith the fear, and then it leads into discrimination, hate, and then this idea of excluding Muslims from, from social and civic life. The Muslim community has had a very strong history in Minnesota. So Muslims in Minnesota is particularly, you know, we're your neighbors, we're your engineers, your doctors, your bus driver. And one of the interesting things in Minnesota is actually unique. We have the first ever Muslim congressman, the first ever American Muslim to serve in Congress of the United States is from Minnesota. Hussein blames ignorance for the heightened fear of Muslims. One, obviously, there's ignorance about Islam, but then there's also an organized discrimination against Muslims, just like there was an organized discrimination against Catholics and Jews in the United States, where people actually organized to, one, mis misinform the public and others about that. And because of current political issues and other society matters, hate crimes against Muslims have actually gone up in the state of Minnesota. Hate crimes have gone up and we, in Minnesota and across the United States, and all of it has been coming, especially in the last year and a half, uh, especially with comments being made by presidential hopefuls and others, it has really created a very, uh, you know, very unsafe environment for a lot of Muslims. Many people came with their own opinions, but left with a different outlook. I previously learned that Jesus is actually mentioned um, equally, if not more times, than Muhammad himself. So, And then I also learned a lot about the um, misunderstandings and especially some of the things that have been going on in our community here. The event was sponsored by the Brainerd Area Coalition for Peace. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. He hosted a second presentation at the United Church of Christ. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.